Hi guys, summer calls for rosé wines, so I thought it would be maybe useful for you to know some uh, rosé wines from Italy. So I have some suggestions for you today in this uh, short video and I wanna present you some of the options you have when you wanna drink rosé wine that is not coming from Provence, France. Uh, which everybody is drinking because it's very popular here in the United States. But uh, also in Italy we do produce uh, rosé wines and we have a long tradition and history in producing rosé wines in several regions uh, from Italy and you can find out more on my blog. I wrote some articles about this, about rosé wines from my own country. But I wanted to show you what I found online or in the wine shops here in LA uh, as option for you to you know, drink some rosé uh, during these uh, hot summer days. So we're gonna start from the north part of Italy. Uh, the first wine I would like to uh, show you is this one. Uh, the winery is Costa Ripa. Costa Ripa is just an example. Oh, this uh, video is not sponsored in any way from any of these winery that I'm showcasing. It's just my personal pick, uh, but you can go and choose another winery from the same area. This is Valtenesi. So this uh, rosé wine is produced uh, in uh, Lombardy, uh, close to the uh, Lake Garda uh, shorelines, and it's a blend of indigenous varieties coming from there, specifically Groppello, Marzemino, and Barbera and they added also some Sangiovese that is not typical from there but the law uh, allow them to blend in some other grapes for a percentage I think around 10% of the, or 15. So uh, yes it's 10% the Sangiovese. So Valtenesi is a DOC so if you look for uh, this uh, appellation, you should uh, Google uh, Valtenesi DOC. I will write in the description box below on YouTube uh, the names of the wines so you can find out easily uh, how do we spell the names in Italian and how to look for them. So I got this wine. This wine, I, as you can see, the color is very pale. It's very similar to the color of uh, Provence Rosé. Uh, the color, I want to tell you, is not something about the taste. It's something about the maceration on the skin. So if you want to read more uh, uh, about how a Rosé wine is produced, I will link up an article I just wrote on my blog below uh, explaining the uh, method of production but um, just to simplify um, the longer the skins of the red grapes stays uh, in maceration uh, during before the fermentation uh, the darker is the color so you will have uh, less um, colored rosé let's say pale rosé if the maceration of the skin is short and you will, you will have deep colored rosé if the maceration on the skin is longer. So it's a choice. And uh, it's not that the uh, darker uh, like tastes sweeter or fruitier. It depends on the grape they used. And so you can have surely more tannins here and more structure because um, you know the red grapes, the red um, skin gives uh, tannins and structure to the wine. So the longer is the maceration, uh, more tannins you will have, but it's not a matter of taste. Anyway, so starting from north part of Italy, Lombardy, Valtenesi, and you can also look for Chiaretto, which is uh, um, an appellation produced very close to the Valtenesi, but on the Veneto side of the Lake Garda. The grapes are similar and uh, they, they are just different territories, so it's a different appellation. So Chiaretto or Valtenesi, if you want to start from north. Then heading south, you can really find uh, um, rosé wines made from all kinds of grapes. In Tuscany they do Sangiovese, um, rosé wines, but I wanted to pick uh, something uh, different from you. So I went to Irpinia, Campania, so I'm heading really south, and I got this rosato. Uh, rosato is the Italian word for rosé, and it's made of aglianico grapes and uh, it's nice because you see the color so you expect maybe south 
uh, when, when you pick a wine from the south that the rosé will be darker, but it's not, you see. It's even more pale, it's, it's even paler. So uh, it's not a matter of, again, of taste or grapes, it's the, it's the maceration. So this is made from Aglianico grapes, uh, grown um, at an altitude between 400 and 600 meters. Uh, so it's like, um, not high altitude, but you will have some temperature excursion and for sure you will have some aromatics, good aromatics in this wine. Oh, I didn't tell you where did I got this wine, did I get this wine? So the first one, the Valtenesi, I got that on wine.com for around 18 bucks. So it's a good, really money for value, value for money, sorry. And the Irpinia one, again on uh, wine.com and the price is, uh, let me tell you, I can't find the price, but it was around uh, 18 bucks again. So I'm, I, I picked wines uh, in the price range of $20 or less. So something really affordable, but really good to drink. So heading south, uh, I picked something from the islands. This is from Sardegna, which I think is one of the most underrated area wine region of Italy. They produce stunning wines, but mm, nobody talks about it. So I, I will really make it up like uh, with a blog post about Sardegna wines very soon. But this one, Isola dei Nuraghi, EGT, is from Arjolas, uh, a very famous winery from there. And it, uh, as you can see again the color is like salmon pale salmon and uh, this rosé wine is obtained from Cannonau grapes so again indigenous varieties from from uh, indigenous variety from Sardinia Cannonau the uh, red version of the Cannonau is really let's say strong and flavored wine so you will have a lot of fruit for sure in this rosé, um, it, it will be very aromatic, more than the Aglianico one, I think, which uh, will be like more, will have more acidity and it's more, let's say, a food wine. This one will be more, like more floral and aromatic uh, from the area where it's grown and also from the kind of grape they used. And this one, it was, uh, let me see, $14.99, so $15. It's really, really good. I really love it. Then, uh, adding south, south again, um, we land in Puglia, which maybe is the most famous uh, wine region of Italy producing uh, traditionally uh, let's, uh, rosé wines because uh, the rosato from Puglia are really famous, uh, are the best to me and they have a huge tradition in producing this kind of wines and I have two from Puglia. One is uh, Negramaro Rosato from Cantele Winery I went to visit this winery, it's beautiful, and the wines, I love their wines, so I picked the Rosato from them, and it's made from Negramaro grapes, of, of course, and as you can see, the maceration on the skin, it has been a little bit longer than the previous two free rosé I showed you, and this is an, another Negramaro um, uh, Rosato, Castello Monaci is the winery and this one is a um, EGT uh, Salento Negramaro Rosato, so from Salento, both from Salento area. Salento is famous for, for the rosé wines in Italy and it's also a, an amazing place to go. Uh, you can see on my, uh, you can watch on my YouTube channel like my Sal Salento vlog, you can uh, read my articles on the web uh, on my blog because I I am really in love with Salento, I wrote about it and I, I mean, I show my passion about Salento very often. So Cantele wine was, uh, um, this one is uh, 11.99, so 12 bucks. It's really a steal. And this one, uh, Castello Monaci, is 14.98, so 15 bucks. Really, really good. And then we're not heading even south, but in Sicily also you can find uh, Etna wines Rosati. 
but uh, I wanted to show you another very traditional kind of uh, rosato wine from Italy, which is a Cerasuolo d'Abruzzo. As you can see, the, the, uh, the, um, the bottle is dark, so the glass of the bottle is dark, but I assure you that also the wine is even darker than this one because it's made from uh, Montepulciano grapes and it is traditionally called Cerasuolo because Cerasa in Italian means um, in Italian in the dialect of Abruzzo means ciliegia which is in English cherry so the mm, color of this wine reminds you cherries and also the, the hints you can find uh, in the wine uh, reminds cherries so that's why it's Cera Zuolo d'Abruzzo. Abruzzo is the region and uh, it's made of uh, Montepulciano grapes. This one is Tiberio and I really really love it. It's $17.99 so 18 bucks. So as you can see you have a lot of options from uh, Italy if you want to drink rosé and I truly invite you to hunt for new wines for, to discover new grapes because um, you know you can travel through wine I told you before you know how I feel about it so every time I can find out something more about a new variety or a new wine I'm very happy I hope this video was useful for you uh, please leave your comments below and see you in the next time